This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz of the Global Fixed Income Research Group. On March 8th, the Bureau of Labor Statistics Jobs Report noted that an estimated 236,000 jobs were added in February, which exceeded market expectations. In kind, the unemployment rate dropped to 7.7 percent, which represents a four-year low. Meanwhile, the composite speculative grade and investment grade composite spreads both widened over the course of February. The speculative grade spread expanded from 180 basis points to 184 basis points, and the investment grade spread widened from 517 basis points to 534 basis points. Speculative grade issuance has decreased from 6.7 billion to 1 billion over the past week as the spreads tightened by 12 basis points to 509 basis points. The speculative grade spread is tighter than both its one-year moving average of 614 basis points and its five-year moving average of 753 basis points. Investment grade issuance has decreased from $20.3 billion to $9.2 billion over the past week as the spreads tightened by one basis point to 183 basis points. The investment grade spread is tighter than both its one-year moving average of 197 basis points and its five-year moving average of 244 basis points. Over the past week, the Credit Default Swap North America High Yield Index tightened by 24 basis points to 394 basis points, and it's tighter than it was at the start of the year when it was 439 basis points. The Credit Default Swap North America Investment Grade Index tightened by 5 basis points to 123 basis points, and it's tighter than it was at the start of the year when it was 136 basis points. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.